Hello, 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 hello. We are still in a summery, sunny Slovakia today. I have a last two days here. Wait a minute. I'll turn the beast off. My little one-cylinder tractor. We are up on a hill and we're gonna have a look at this um, old school village. Uh, it's only five kilometers from my, my village where I grew up. Uh, this is a, uh, down there is the closer town. Uh, about 30,000 people. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but past the tree, I'll try to zoom in. Up there, where is my finger? <laughs> Over there is a castle, right there on the top of the screen, called Likava. Now it is kind of reconstructed and being made as a tourist thing, but uh, uh, we used to go get drunk there and play with the guitars and all the punks. We used to have a night over there and sneaking through the back road, which was super cool. And uh, yeah, so we're going a bit more unconventional road to this village uh, called Vokalinet. And uh, uh, yeah, why not to go up the, up the hills? There is a road which leads there. Um, so I'll show you around. So, um, yeah, let's see you there. Right, this little village is called Vukolinets. It's um, it's a um, village which has been started, supposedly at least the stories I've been told, uh, by people uh, to protect the villagers and the sheep and the cattle that was here in the mountains from wolves. It used to be a lot of um, uh, wolves in the area, and um, the people who lived here kept all the uh, well population trim so the shepherds could uh, run their sheep everywhere and uh, because how it works here it's kind of social system that uh, uh, over the summer the shepherd would go down through the village and collect different sheep from different households you, if you had one sheep he had two sheep and da -da -da. you he picked it up he marked them took them up into the hills for the summer and then um, he would um, bring you every two weeks or a month uh, your allotment of cheese and sheep milk and sour milk and brinza which is Slovakian special cheese um, everything is sheep cheese obviously so yeah this is the old village and um, it has been uh, it's inside the well, inside it's part of the UNESCO heritage style the European Union uh, there is a lot of old school houses, all these wooden, beautifully painted wooden huts. So uh, this is a start of, of the village. And now all the windows are carvings and yeah. If you notice, each window is double window. So they are double frames because here it's in the winter about minus 30 degrees Celsius. You can calculate it in your Fahrenheit. Um, but yeah, all the dovetailed logs with all the trees in between. So this is all in the shingle of how it is called, the uh, wooden roofs, um, groove and tail. And uh, yeah, the whole village is just like this. So uh, let's have a little look around. Some of the like the more prominent things are like the well. Here it told me to leave old school, trying to see when it was constructed, uh, 1860. 
So and there was a village water supply and everybody from the houses would come along. The village doesn't go much, there is another 10 meters down around the corner. Um, there is still an uh, original population lives there. My dad knows probably everybody in here. We used to come here as a kids to the church and uh, hang out and for hikes. This area is big skiing and mountain biking and hiking area, so we were always here. So he would know all these old school folk. Um, what are you? This is a bell tower. Another, they've been reconstructing it last like, two years ago when I was here. Uh, built in 1770, wooden bell tower. Um, so you can see it probably on every on every little sticker or things when come out of here. Um, so yeah. Get some ice creams. If you see into the deep inside, you can see the local folk still living here and doing their thing. On the UNESCO houses. And as you can see, the weather is absolutely brilliant, not a single cloud. And uh, I am in my uh, lined gumboot, so my feet are sweating a, a bucket or gumboot. <laughs> yeah, so it's a village. So I come run here while I'm here. I used to mountain bike here. So I run from my village up the roads, up the hill, and I run up to the saddle and to the ski fields over there. There is a little restaurant, little cafes, and uh, there is a stream running down in the middle. As you can see, lots of folklore stuff. There's people enjoying themselves. Uh, yeah, this house was obviously a new build. It doesn't really match the uh, feel of the village, but it must have been built in probably 80s, 70s, 80s during communism, so they could do whatever they want. And hello, puppy. Uh, this is a little, uh, uh, they call it a uh, witch house, so you can park your broom and go have a coffee. And these are also new builds, so people still build in the area. But there is certain features they have to stick to and the uh, same house. Oh, I'm a bit breathless. So yeah, I saw this house being built two years ago. One day I came here, nothing. They brought the truck here with the logs. And two days they built pretty much the whole frame and they were up to the roof. And afterwards they just had to go and fill all the gaps in between. And over here is the the road which goes to the saddle, then it dips down and it goes to a place called Malin Oberdo, which is a big ski field. And in the summer there is lots of um, there is lots of mountain bike tracks. So you can get a uh, what do you call it? The uh, not a chair a chairlift. You start with the cabins, uh, like a gondola type of thing, which takes you to the first station and then you can and from there is a bunch of mountain bike tracks down. And uh, if you want to go, you can go uh, on a, on the freaking ski, what is it called, the lifts, chair lifts, and take you all the way up to the top of the field, and uh, you can ride down the hill. It's a quite long, maybe 10, 12 kilometer, maybe not, I don't know, maybe, maybe only 5 kilometer, I'm making shit up. <laughs> you should uh, look it up, it's called Malino Brda Ski Field. So all the information I'm pretty sure you can find on the internet, which is more exact than uh, my estimates. But the houses are beautiful. The mountain behind me, it's called Sidorovo. It's uh, 1190 meters, I think. You can get there, it's a beautiful hike, and you can go from the hill all the way by the ridge line, all the way down to the city, which is called Um And yeah, this is, um, this is the village.
when I was a kid, there was no cars allowed in here. Lots of these houses have been sold to uh, people from capital city and wealthy people. So now it's their holiday homes. The people who uh, stayed here are original settlers. There is less and less. They are dying off. Young people are in cities and towns. But you can see uh, all these. This is called Dvor, D-V-O-R, with a line. And there is always barn at the end. Uh, where you store all your uh, food for uh, your cattle and stuff which you had. So and usually a second family would live in another house. So they share their door to get to the house. So it was a much more of a communal living, but everybody knew each other. And to be honest, we are five kilometers out of here in different village and we knew everybody in here. So um, yeah, this is one of my favorite places to go and hang out, really. And I'm lucky enough that it's on my doorstep. And the hills, you can go wherever you want. Mm -hmm. Grandma's having a lunch outside. So cool. All right. This uh, flag talk about the uh, Slovak national uprising. The people who were here, they were part of the partisans, I think, and uh, who probably perished um, during the war. Um, so yeah. That's the bell tower, and this is the little village. So if you ever come into this area, yeah, come and have a look, I think it's worth it. And um, if you bring your hiking boots, come, well, let me change it. If you are in New Zealand, you know, the, the land is private and everything is fenced. We're here land, lots of it is still state owned, lots of it's private, but there is no fences, there is not much around so you can kind of walk wherever they want and uh, you want to you know if you see the field right there you want to walk up that field you go up that field uh, the, the fields I run up on the motorbike you know I just ride there um, this is all national park so uh, the vehicle should be limited but um yeah This is your living, breathing, living, breathing village from oh, the 16th, 17th century, 18th, probably, 18th century. <laughs> this is old Czechoslovakian symbol saying uh, music school. These days they're doing here um, different things uh, like events, workshops, uh, as it says in here. There is a beehive day, a pottery day, um, um, making from uh, leathers, and then some painting workshop. Um, so yeah, this is the old school in here in a village. And usually, you know, in the winter, this is up to your ears in snow. So uh, yeah, it's cool. Hmm. This is a. Uh, uh, in this building was a teacher, Josef Maik, who uh, died in a fight for freedom, Spanish and Czechoslovakian people, as a interbrigadista, I don't know, in Spain, yeah, in 1936. He was 25. And another church still function. The priest who is in my village, he comes here and does the ceremonies on, uh, on Sundays. So my dad usually comes here and we hiked up here through the, through the fields down there. There is a little trick that comes down. That's what I usually run up. So you would walk up here, go on a mess, and then you would head back home. So it was always nice. It's a cute little church. Uh, 
No dramas. By the time this church was built, uh, 1875, this chapel. So, yeah. And the cemetery of the old folk. So we're just gonna go back up that way uh, where we came from and head down. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you. This is my last video here from Slovakia. Um, I just wanted to show you what uh, my neck of the woods looks like and what it looks like in the summer and a little bit of history and, and yeah, the kind of my, my heritage, my background. My grandfather lives in one of these houses down in a village, which is still just um, a kitchen and has a one room. And my father with his two siblings and parents and in the winter even goats lived in there. And it's just old school house and it's slightly sloping because all the woods is whether degrading or leaning. So the ceilings are probably up to my, my nose. So I have to go and bend in there. It's a cute little wooden hut. Um, all over the place and yeah so this is this is my history this is where I come from all right let's have a little boot up the hill again and uh, do something random so let's go riding my little tractor is ready one cylinder 400 cc's it's not very fast but it takes you place I was sliding up the hill all over the place because it was raining yesterday so the ground is a bit wet but yeah she keeps going. My village is down there in that valley. Behind Quarry is another village. And then further down is the city. So this is the uh, part of the village on that side of the hill. And then I live more tucked underneath this side. Oh yeah. We have a private little village ski field in this in this hill down there. I used to ski there pretty much every day through the winter holidays and every weekend. That was cool fun. And there is a little bit of a thing for hunting, for stalking deer and birds and whatnot. And this is the Sidorovo hill. Alright, let's get going. Right, this road finished down here, it comes into these allotments, this is all the people's properties from the apartment blocks. Behind there is a place called Penzion Gaydag, which is a pub and possibly accommodation. People go there from the city to hang out. I'm just going to turn around down here and then we go through the, through the strane, as we call the plains, uh, go back down home. So this was a bit of a short little trip, but yeah, here we go. I just wanted to show you the woods where I where I come from, the wood child. Look at it. There's mountains everywhere full of bears and wolves and lynxes and vipers and ticks and whatnot. So um, yeah, let's turn around and go home.
slipity slip slip. Okay. Alright, I was uh, quite a bit of an angle and I did a little 180 UE on a tire. Okay. I have built up a bit of a sweat uh, lifting the bike from underneath. I'm sure my back will thank me tomorrow. Uh, collected a little bit of grass, cleaned that up so uh, we don't make a hay. By the time we get home, we'll start up a fire. I have a little bit of a graze on the nail though, but it's okay. Uh, and my foot got caught underneath the bike when uh, we rolled over and spun but lucky uh, the gum boot has a bit of a room in there so I could squeeze my and it's sweaty so it's slippery so I got my foot out so we all good <laughs> I packed the bike on a stand and she sunk <laughs> so I better get moving well, uh, Maybe a bit silly to do this uh, two days before a 40 hour plane ride, but um, well, I wanted to show you this beautiful area and I love it. I wanted to see it for myself anyway before we head out. Who knows when we're gonna be back here, so uh, yeah, a little bit. Okay, let's get back. Let's get back and take it easy, Mario, take it easy. Before we get back, I just show you my dad's house where he grew up. This beautiful wooden cottage, the two room. They did another extension up there. Uh, long drop is behind that side. And yeah, it's a nice little cottage. Wait a second, I'll move forward. And this is it what it looks from the front. They have a little veranda. This is a one room where all family lived. And then there is a little alcove and there is a kitchen. And later on they build another room at the back. And yeah, and they have a little bit of a garden. And they live right underneath the hill. And then the whole village is down here in this little valley. All right, that's just a little <laughs> something. All right, let's get back. Alrighty, so that was a last little jaunt on a bike. I'm gonna take the battery out and uh, put the bike back to sleep because who knows when uh, she's gonna be ridden. It's a tough little beast. I'm quite impressed. Not the most powerful and uh, strongest, but gets you places. I'll see you on the next ride. So if you guys wanna keep watching and see what I get up to, uh, we're gonna be building the chopper soon uh, when my parts arrive. So that's uh, in the plan soon and um, yeah, keep pressing the buttons, keep writing messages I like, see where you come from and uh, your opinions and things, what you, what you do and what you say. So um, yeah, keep, keep in touch and um, I'll see you on the next video, probably most likely from back from New Zealand. So uh, see you out there. Thank you.